What if your go-to mood board app joined forces with ChatGPT and Stable Diffusion, so you could automatically generate mind maps, brainstorm ideas, and render images from reference boards all within one platform? Today I will try a new mood board app specifically designed for designers by designers. I will mainly use it for architectural and interior design, but you can basically use it for any design process like fashion, graphic design, game and industrial design. Let's create an account first. I will provide the sign up link in the video the description. It is completely free to create an account and use Fabri, including all the AI features. After logging in, they have lots of ready to use templates you can use to see what types of workflows you can create. You can also use them to start building faster. If you check one of the templates, like interior design, you can see how they documented the process weekly, what the feedback was from the client, what was discussed and ultimately chosen, etc. I will simply open an empty canvas to start. I want to create an intro page with a reference board and furniture options for this elderly co-housing project. You can import many file types into Fabri like images, videos, voice, PDFs and even directly procreate and photoshop files. I will place the floor plan into a frame to keep it organized. I will focus on one of the units and find some furniture examples for this studio flat. One thing I really like about Fabri is the integration and extensions they created to streamline the process for designers. The one that I will use right now is their browser extension. After installing it, you can either capture an array of your screen and it automatically saves your library. You can also just hold an image and drop it to their pop-up and it will be saved. Then you can place these images from your library onto your canvas. So I have collected some materials for the kitchen, bathroom and bedroom furnitures. I want to find a small cute sofa with some coffee table and plants for the living room area. This one looks good. Let's test some more exciting features. When you click to an image on the canvas, we have options to edit, crop, flip, etc. But when you click the purple AI button, you can get text from the image, upscale it or remove the background. Let's cut out this sofa from this image so we can use it in the reference board and it is removed. I will add some more objects the same way. Okay, it looks pretty complete now, but I want to make it even better. When I right click an image, I can combine them into a single PNG. To render this image, open the Imagine tab here in the left side, choose the image mode and just slide the PNG here. We can pick which model we want to use for the generation, how close it should stay to the image input and add a text description in this box for our scene. Lastly, we have some additional style option like these ones. There are some advanced settings too, but you don't need to change them at all. Let's hit generate. Here are the renders. Overall, pretty accurate and good quality from a reference board. It generates 4 options in each time. I will create another set with an interior lighting style and add them to my board. Around 4-5 months ago, I did a similar video on this workflow from mood board to render, but I didn't know about Fabri then, or maybe they weren't available yet. I used Midjourney and some other platforms on that video. That process had more steps and relatively more manual work. In terms of quality, some weren't so bad, but almost none were great for consistency with the base image and the overall quality. So when I have a chance to do comparison between platforms, of course I will do it. This was the base image I've used in that old video and here are the results from different platforms next to Fabrice. You can decide which looks better yourself. In the project we have a long shared balcony and I want to visualize how this space will be used. I found these base images as a reference and I want to add a couple of people to show the residents interacting and having better social lives in this co-living community. Maybe add some plants too. Once done. I will merge them, copy as PNG and drop into the Imagine tab. Just add a short description, but this time I will choose the marker hand sketch style option. Look at these renders, they are absolutely incredible.
They really captured the interactions and emotions I wanted to reflect. I think this frame is completed. Let's create another one here and add more details about the project and come up with some new ideas. Fabri Imagine wasn't the only AI integration. Next is Fabri Write, which you can use for mind maps, SWOT analysis, diagrams, pros and cons list, and brainstorming. I want to generate some furniture ideas for a small studio apartment, especially bedroom and the living room. It adds these sticky notes with some possible ideas like Murphy beds, room dividers, loft beds, etc. Not so bad, but what if we could actually see these ideas? Right click on the notepad and select text to image here are some murphy beds i will add this to bedroom furniture's options too i can do the same for the other ones but i will try the second idea in mid journey i will copy this text as a prompt there okay so i have generated some options from mid journey that i also want to add to my board they created an extension to directly import images from mid journey into fabri along with their prompts install the extension here and connect it to your account with bind command later when i want to use an image i will just use the collect command and type how many images i want to transfer i can see them in my library right now and place it here for this idea we have collected a variety of different furniture options for this unit and it is starting to get a bit confusing maybe we could combine everything necessary into a table with columns for rooms names price materials and even images we can ask it to generate it automatically and it is ready like this later you can edit it however you want add pictures directly from the board and weave them in the gallery format once it is done we can also export it as an excel file finally i generated some text descriptions of the overall project idea and a SWOT analysis showing the different aspects i think that covers this project for now once you are done you can share a link to your mood board with your team Team or publicly anyone online i put the link for this mood board we created together in the video description feel free to check it out i hope you enjoyed the video and the fabri thank you fabri for sponsoring this video i genuinely like the platform and got excited about it which is why i wanted to share it with you as well let me know what you think and don't forget to take a look and try it out it is completely free at the moment you can find the link in the description thanks for watching till now and see you in the next one